starts, I want to say one thing. I know that my situation with this event is not as severe as some people have had to go through and I completely recognize that and so I just want you guys to know that it's in my prayers and it's in my thoughts that everyone that passed away, all the families of those who passed are in my heart and I would never make a video just for the fun of it and I just want to give my aspect and what I went through with this event and why it has played such a big role in my life. September 11th, 2001. I was in the first grade. I was six years old. I had no idea what happened. A six-year-old sitting in a classroom who was then told along with the rest of her classmates that we had to get up and go. The whole school was in there. They told us that the World Trade Center had been stricken by two planes, killing over 3,000 people. Innocent victims for parents of kids I did not know. The city was filled with smoke, dirt, and sorrow. It wasn't until I was older that I truly processed and witnessed what had happened. Looking through videos, magazines, newspapers, on but I just wasn't sure why someone would ever want to do this. Why someone would literally go out of their way to cause havoc and terror on people that did nothing. 9-11 is one of the reasons why I have anxiety. 9-11 is one of the reasons that I live in fear. As you can see, we have the South Pole and the North Pole. Both poles signify the North and the South Tower. Before they fell, it is a pool memorial for everyone that did pass away. So all the names are engraved along the ledges, and family members can come, leave flowers, leave notes, and it's just a really good moment to remember where you were on that day and be grateful for everything around you and whoever is by your side. So some people might ask why this event gave me such bad anxiety, why it makes me scared of the small things. And that's because, to be honest, I'm afraid of death. And I think that is completely normal. Um, you know, I'm very cautious with the way that I do live my life. I try and watch out for those around me and their lives and it gets taken to severe extremes at points. But this event has really taught me growing up that anything can happen. And I've been trying over the past few years to sort of twist that into, you know, living more in the moment instead of worrying about like the next moment. Or instead of thinking weeks, months, years in advance, like when is this gonna happen? It's just so much stress on one person's mind. And with the anxiety about all this, it makes me live in constant fear of my surroundings. And this is the first time that I have come down here since 2001. But coming down here and seeing everyone together and seeing the pools and seeing everything, it, it makes you think back to that day, to that time of where, were, where was I and how lucky I am. I was six years old at the time, I'm now 21. That was 15 years ago, years of, of worrying, 15 years of being afraid to fly, being afraid to go on the subway, but I still do it because you can't live in constant fear and at, although at times it, it has its moments, you have to use it as motivation to overcome it rather than to take it, well I'm just going to be afraid for the rest of my life. No, when it comes to 9-11. It's always a time of recollection and emotion and just being grateful. Just being grateful and being present. Be grateful for everything in my life, for everyone around me. And to live in such a great city where we aren't afraid of anything. Just stick as one, that we are one. Be a good, insightful, different video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, 
and uh, once again, did not mean to offend anyone with this video. See you guys next week.